All right, let's go to the venue, guys. Let's see what we got over there. All right, let's see what we got. So you're in jail, am I correct? Yes, sir. Here we are guys, we're bringing it to you guys from Germany, Munich, Germany. I am at the venue and you're only going to get this here at Jay's Audio Lab. I am ahead of everybody else today shooting this content. You're going to get to see what's going on behind the scenes. Today is setup day, tomorrow is the uh, media day, only the press is going to be here tomorrow. So I just decided to, you know what, I'm tired, I haven't slept, but I'm going to do this for you guys. I'm going to walk in here. And we're going to go see what's got going on right now. Hit that like button if you appreciate my hard work. Thanks. Ooh. Interesting. Look at that. Oof, boy. Grandioso cables. I'm in the lobby of the place right now. I don't know what to expect, guys. So let's continue to roll. See what's going on. setup day wow still just a rough draft of what's going to happen the Borison team an inside exclusive look at behind the scenes at the Munich high end show let's see if I can find the great brands that we see here all the time here's Boulder from Static Display All right, let's see what we got. I'm gonna walk real fast to give you as much as I can. Some Cardinals cables. I'm looking for the big heavy hitter brands, guys. Look at this. This is going to be absolutely insane tomorrow. Come tomorrow, this is going to be incredible. Let's go this way, see what's going on. <clears throat> Tannoy. Woo, let's see this. How y'all doing, guys? Shooting, yes. Shooting for the channel. Just seeing the rough draft. I love those speakers, man. I heard them at Expona, they were phenomenal. Those speakers were amazing. Love those speakers. We'll see how they're going to sound tomorrow. I know they're not ready right now, so I know you're still fine-tuning probably, right? Yeah, right? We're good to go. You're good to go. Yeah. Wow. Hey, you guys are ahead of everybody. You guys are doing great, man. Amazing. Look forward to seeing this. Hello. Hi. Leave it audio. All right, guys. I am looking for Martin, guys. Martin loudspeakers. I'm looking for Alcivox. I am just walking right now. This is insane, folks. Absolutely just incredible. I mean, Expona looks like somebody's patio in comparison. This is not even close. Expona is nothing in comparison. Nothing, folks. Let me tell you. See, I'm still looking for the big boys. I have a feeling I'm not where I need to be, but I'm gonna find them.
lot of stuff going on, guys. I'm still trying to locate the big speakers, the big boys. Uh, this is, I don't think there's anything yet in there, but there's a Darzeel piece. Okay, so let's check out what else is going on around here. Man, Thorns, turntables. That's really cool right there. Really nice. Wow. You know what to do. If you like this type of content, hit that like button, guys. Support the channel. Here we are, guys. I'm going to find them. Those of you who are in my private Ultra Hi-Fi group, I mean, look at this. <laughs> this is by far, like, just the best I've ever seen, guys. If you're looking for something that makes a wow, holy crap factor, I have never seen a better looking speaker than this. And I've seen a lot of speakers, guys. To me, this just is absolutely... <laughs> I mean, it's ridiculous, folks. Absolutely. Look at that. Astonishing. So, if you're looking to really wow someone in your living room, I don't care what you've seen. First of all, my Wilsons look like trash in comparison. So, Wilson doesn't have anything in comparison to this. Magical would be, I guess, somewhat similar because of this. But the look of the speaker, this is just ridiculous, guys. I got to hear them tomorrow, and I'll let you guys know what I think about them. Hopefully, I can play some music that I'm familiar with, but it's a astonishing looking speaker, folks. Do you smell small? Granite turntable, incredible. And then, of course, the Darzeel preamp that I have now. And look at that the monos, the 468s. They look stunning, guys, in person. They really look amazing, personally. I, I love the look. I love the look of these things. Look at this. Absolutely stunning. Wow. Will we see one of those in my lab? Who knows? <laughs> Who knows what we will see? Anything is possible. So, hopefully we get to hear these in their full glory. I appreciate, of course, always the, um, the um, support, the help, and uh, allowing me to showcase, you know, your brand, which... As you know, I highlighted your room as the best the best room at the 2023 uh, Expona. And I stand behind that. So I am very excited to hear, though, the same speakers with a new mechanism on the bottom to spike the speakers. And, of course, Darzeel. So that's going to be a very interesting combo that I am looking forward to listening to. Okay, guys, I am bringing you an exclusive of the newly released Borison M6 loudspeaker, their current flagship. This is the first time you guys are seeing the speaker, and Michael Borison is going to talk to us about what makes this spe speaker so special. Well, when we started the M series a few, a year ago, we introduced the M1. Yeah. And what was special about the M1 was that it had this 3D printed basket of zirconium in the speaker, in the speaker driver. And uh, here, there's six of them. Um, everything about that driver is special. Actually, if you want, you can have a look over there and see the driver. I would Let's look. take a look at the driver. So Talk. this is uh, the zirconium basket and the silver magnet system and the membrane. It's a very special membrane. It's a honeycomb sandwich, three layers. 
uh, one layer carbon, one layer honeycomb, one layer carbon, and then a skin layer of titanium that has been subjected to a plasma treating for 96 hours. It's a piece of art. Uh, I don't think any company has ever done anything quite like that. And when you look at the membrane, these four constrained layer make for a very, very stiff, extremely stiff, but resonance free membrane. And that brings out a clarity that we have never heard before. Okay. And pair that with a ultra fast, very light ribbon tweeter. We have something that has very, very little coloration of its own. Right. Has very little inductance in the driver because of the magnet system. And, and that has an incredible fast rise time. The driver inductance is about one tenth of what a normal driver is, and because of that, it has an extremely fast rise time, low mass, high acceleration, and that very low coloration because of this stiff but no break of membrane. And this together creates a clarity and a dynamic aspect in a speaker that is unheard of. What is the efficiency of the speaker? This is a, a little below 90. It's 80, 90 b. Okay, uh, but. The way it's set up, impedance always stays above 6 ohms, and the impedance curve is very flat, flat, flat. so it's very easy to drive. What's the recommended amplifier output? Yeah, you can, you can drive this with a 2 amp, 50 watts or really? 25 watts, yeah, because it's quite efficient and it doesn't have any face angles because of the low inductance of the driver, so it's a very, very easy load on, on amplifiers. And it's not super efficient, but it's not low in efficiency either. What does it weigh, the speaker? Something that I know, I, I love have, to know. I, have, I think around 100 kilos, I think. 220 and, pounds, more yeah. or less. Got you, okay. And then this is shipping now, or is this? this is shipping now. Yeah. Shipping now, okay. Yeah. So this is your new statement. Uh, basically, the following act to the M3. Exactly. This is the new M6. Yeah. And uh, right now, well, are we going to hear it at this show, or no? No, we're not going to hear this at the show. We have the M3. The M3. Uh, and this is due to the room size. I think that Correct. if we had a bigger room, we would probably play it. But but we prefer these sound boxes, so to speak, because the room acoustics upstairs in the big rooms is close to impossible to get anything good out of. Here we can control things. So we put the smaller speaker, and the difference is the tonality is the same. Uh, but this one has a better dynamic range. Of and uh, what's the recommended room size for something like that? I think in square meters. In square meters? Yeah, okay. from 50, 60 square meters and up. Okay. Okay. Well, guys, there you have it. The new M6, the world premiere of Borison's new flagship loudspeaker. Hit that like button. Continue to support me. Mike, I appreciate you being here. Thank Take you for care. being on my channel. Take care, guys. Bye. Subscribe, please. I hope you guys have enjoyed this quick video that I put together today a day before the media enters the venue. Um, and uh, of course, keep in mind that what you saw today is just the beginning. It's just an appetizer, if you will. I hope you guys are looking forward to what's gonna come tomorrow. I have not slept for two days, in case you must know. I landed today at around 12 noon Munich time. Got to the hotel, put my bags in the room, and took an Uber and got here just to put this content ahead. Please support the channel, hit the like button, subscribe. It helps me, trust me. I don't sleep if I don't have to so that I can give you great coverage. More will come. I have, I have had a lot of interesting conversations with a lot of the exhibitors. So I plan to shoot great rooms, amazing electronics, and of course, you can only catch that here on my channel. Once again, subscribe and hit the like button. I am tired. Jay is out. Peace.